The Class of 44, starring Gary Grimes and Jerry Hauser, will continue. For more detailed information about Edith, contact your local fire department. We're wired for weather. Introducing the WRAL Weather Center, the newest innovation on Action News 5. Now, veteran weatherman Bob DeBartelaben and meteorologist Greg Fischel and Mike Modrick are wired with the latest in weather computers, color radar, and satellite technology. Within minutes, we have the data to pinpoint precise weather conditions in your town like nobody else. Weather Center, wired for weather. Now on Action News 5. An evening of dance can be dazzling. An evening of dance can be so expressive. An evening of dance can be magical and just plain fun. Discover the excitement of an evening of dance in your community. A message from your North Carolina Arts Council. When it comes to facts, families, food, fashion, fame, fads, and forecasts, we're as curious about life as you are. And on this week's PM Magazine, we'll meet Florence of the Jeffersons. We'll see how you can put your last will and testament on TV. Catch up with Linda Harris and find out what it's like having the world's best job. And we'll see the amazing story of a killer well who befriended a human. See you at 7.30 on TV5. Since the 1800s, the Cape Hatteras Lighthouse has guided thousands of sailors through the graveyard of the Atlantic. But soon the light may be lost to the eroding waters of the sea. You can help save this priceless landmark, America's tallest lighthouse. A campaign is now underway to raise funds for the protection of the Hatteras Light. Contributions of all amounts are welcome. But for $100 or more, you'll be awarded a certificate and the title of Keeper of the Light, signed by North Carolina's top public officials. Become a Keeper of the Light and help save part of our country's heritage, Cape Hatteras Lighthouse. Listen to me. I'm going to tell you how you can save energy, fight inflation, clean up the air, and reduce your dependence on foreign oil, just like that. And you can save money, too, hundreds of dollars a year. How? Don't drive alone. Share the ride to work in a carpool or van pool or use public transit. Sign up for ride sharing. Try a ride to work. It's easy. Call Try a Ride at 549-9999. In 1978, Velma Barfield was convicted of the poisoning death of her fiancé. Her story made news across North Carolina. That was four years ago. Now, as the only woman on North Carolina's death row, her existence is a series of execution dates and reprieves. Seven times she's been scheduled to die. Seven times her execution has been delayed. In a three-part series, Crystal Harris takes a look at the life of a woman who's been waiting to die starting Monday at 6 on Action News 5. Remember when someone helped you? These volunteers remembered, and so have thousands of others. They've teamed up with North Carolina schools and our fine teachers to help students read, play, and learn. As governor and as a volunteer myself, I want to thank each of you. I hope you'll continue to volunteer and encourage your friends and neighbors to support North Carolina students by volunteering in our public schools. All right, doing good. Like most children, Jerry is immunized against childhood diseases like measles and polio. He's kept away from poisons, sharp objects, and things that burn. He's also protected against the number one threat to his life, the automobile accident. Unfortunately, most children are not. At least 80 out of every 100 children who are killed in auto accidents could survive if their parents would only do this. Give your children all the protection they need. Use child safety seats. Hey, Tom, do you really think you'll have a chance of winning in the Great Raleigh Road Race this year? Sure. I bet I'm even faster than that guy. Hey, I wonder if he signed up for the race. Hey, the Great Raleigh Road Race is coming up April 4th. You can sign up at any running store in the Triangle, Fayetteville, or Greensboro, or Winston-Salem. Just thought I'd let him know. Of course, I don't think he's got a chance. Nah, just because he won last year doesn't mean he'll win again this year. What? That's Gary Hostetter, last year's winner. Join Gary, me, and Tom, and sign up now. Did you know that children will respond favorably to a hospital visit if they're prepared in advance? Tell your child about the hospital a day or two before you go. 
how he'll eat, where he'll sleep, and sometimes a picture from home can help. Also, many hospitals have programs that can help, including Wake County Medical Center, which conducts classes weekly. Or ask your child's doctor to help you, help your child cope with going to the hospital. Now is the time, TV5 is the place. TV5 is the place for the fourth annual TV5 Partners Auction. Volunteers are canvassing area merchants for contributions of merchandise to be auctioned by partners. You can receive the many benefits of donating goods or join over 300 volunteers for the Partners Auction by calling 828-1140. Now is the time, TV5 is the place. This has been a Sunday late movie presentation of the class of 44. Join us next week at this same time for Countdown 81, a solid gold special, next Sunday on TV5. Here on the eastern coast of North Carolina, you can discover a maritime forest where the Algonquin Indians roamed freely a thousand years ago. And you can discover the same view today, because North Carolina's Nature Conservancy identified this land for preservation and acquired the Nags Head Woods. Because once such places for discovery are gone, they're gone forever. The North Carolina Nature Conservancy. We're in the business of preserving discovery. When it comes to facts, families, food, fashion, fame, fads, and forecasts, we're as curious about life as you are. And on this week's PM Magazine, we'll meet Florence of the Jeffersons. We'll see how you can put your last will and testament on TV. Catch up with Linda Harris and find out what it's like having the world's best job. And we'll see the amazing story of a killer well who befriended a human. See you at 7.30 on TV5. Join PM Magazine on TV5. This concludes another day of service by WRAL Television, Channel 5 in Raleigh, North Carolina. This station is owned and operated by Capital Broadcasting Company, Incorporated. With studios and offices at 2690.